I am Shohini Ray, Assistant Director, PR and Strategy at Risha Mandi. Welcome to the fourth episode of Mandi Ki Baate, an initiative where we showcase our contributions and also bring to the forefront the people who are involved in making and building India's first and largest digital ecosystem for natural fibers. Today I have with me Mr. Jagdish Shetty, our Chief Accounts Officer. and we will talk about a few things and share insights on financial planning and media representation at Risha Mandi welcome yeah. jagdish welcome to the show yeah thanks so much thanks for coming okay jagdish uh, one of the most important questions that i'm dying to ask you is that you are super active everybody in risha mandi knows that you are full of energy you are the star of any show here at risha mandi we all want to know how do you do this what is the secret of this energy so normally sohini i woke up with the you know positive attitude positive energy in the morning itself it will keep me in the whole day in the positivity so my energy will come out like that so it's not like that a boost is the secret of my energy it's the only energy with you know positive thinking positive attitude how do you maintain it you know on a regular basis because i have seen in my uh, tenure with risha mandi that you manage to you know motivate and encourage every employee in any of our be it a town hall be it our samvad event how do you do that i mean how do you motivate yourself so i already told i have a self motivator so i don't want anybody's motivation or something so the i wake up with the that motivation only so i'll keep the entire day in my entire week or thing it is in the weekend it is the you know week days uh, jagdish you have been with risha mandi since inception right yes. uh, so yes. more than 2 years yes and we have grown tremendously in the past 2 years so right from scratch to achieving a 1000 crore plus revenue annually today Yes. I mean what has your experience been and what do you personally feel about this phenomenal growth trajectory that Risha Mandi has achieved So I have overall fantastic experience in Risha Mandi so already you told and the you know initial leadership team the initial founding team and the member so we started with the uh, you know one center in uh, Sarjapur so after that now we have 100 plus centers warehouses lot of other things we have but my experience so we enjoyed in one one moment in resha mandi so we enjoyed our first lot it is you know we sales happen in ramnagar we enjoyed with our first weaver we enjoyed with first were first reeler so even though my experience in the whole night i you know d- uh, done my payment to the farmers so the every every moment we enjoyed that is a very best experience for my entire you know work life experience so resha mandi is the one of the best experience for me so i enjoyed lot fabulous experience here so it will be continued like that so only. you are extremely fortunate you have been part of all the milestones that yes resha yes resha mandi yes has yes achieved, yes right? so yeah. the i am the only finance guy the first joined along with my founders so so we enjoyed i told no we enjoyed all the experience with uh, we greeted all the our things actually that is fabulous i think very few people can witness so much in such a short time and to see this tremendous growth happening and yes, to yes, see yes. it from scratch it yes. must be a very different feeling yeah, zero it must to be giving now you are telling 1000 uh, crore plus it is great achievement. Uh, achievement of the company also or personal growth also even though we also the personal growth we have now you know 600 plus employees i saw it from day one onwards how the resha mandi will grow how the resha mandi will in the several sector it will grow i think so, so you are proud of your team right? yes i am proud are... of my team yeah so he need tell me you are working with lot of uh, stakeholders so how is the strategy of your peer strategy for the resha mandi so uh, before i come to resha mandi's pr strategy i would just like to talk a little bit about what pr is all about so pr public relations actually helps any company any brand to create a favorable image 
of itself to its audience and we all know image is everything you know it can make yes, or yes. break a company a brand yes, yes but again we have to remember one thing that you know this kind of an image which can be created with such a lot of media coverage yes. cannot be achieved overnight so any pr strategy is not an overnight process it's a long term strategy it does not happen in a day yes. it takes years and we are a two years young company so we our pr strategy to get a very effective pr strategy i would say that two things are very important one is patience and one is consistency now why i am saying patience and consistency is because you know we are dealing with journalists yes offline media online media and they are all working under deadlines even we are working under deadlines yes. right so it becomes very difficult sometimes to get in touch with them and uh, so let me tell you that you know not all efforts always result in a story or always result in a coverage yes so we have to be constantly at it there's a lot of effort and time which is invested and the results keep coming so like i said it does not happen in a day it yes. takes months it takes years to get a pr strategy in place uh, also you know we have to remember that consistency is very important because uh, we have to be talked about we have to be written about we have to be visible in credible publications both online and offline and only when our audience sees that our brand is visible enough yes. and the publications the media is talking about us that is when a day start getting that trust building that trust factor gets yes, built yes, only when i am spoken about right and that's the difference between advertising and pr in advertising you know we are talking about ourselves what we do but pr is when the media is talking about you so that means we are definitely doing something which is causing a disruption right so I, like i feel that you know life is a marathon it's not a sprint right yes. so the same applies for pr as well you know yes. uh, nothing comes overnight so a lot of efforts a lot of time is invested yes. also we have to kind of build familiarity with our stakeholders so like you said you know we work with so many stakeholders yes. farmers reelers weavers on one hand then we have the consumers retailers influencers industry bodies government yeah. uh, investors you know so there are so many stakeholders that we have to reach out to so it's extremely important that we identify the right platforms you know the right media that can convey the message to our mm. stakeholders and also the right influencers who will help us you know be the voice of the brand so yeah. a few things just to sum up i would like to say that you know building a very strong narrative the story of resha mandi reaching out to the right audience via the right platforms being at the right place at the right time protect the brand and also the storytelling like i said is very important the story of what we are doing and establishing resha mandi as a disruptor and also uh, from a pr perspective i would say that you know we would look at creating a strong momentum uh, a sustained momentum and building a thought leadership for resha mandi you are about to complete one year in resha mandi yes. so what is the your, your you know journey in the resha mandi how you describe it okay uh, you know what uh, i believe that any organization any company is not only defined by the work it does it's also the people who are involved in making the organization that it is so the only the people who are involved in making a brand they lend that character to the workplace right they make it more human because see all of us are spending the major part of the day here it's like yes, our second yes. home yes so if there are no positive vibes no positive energy then none of us would survive right none of us would want to come here but i look forward to coming to resha mandi every day and one thing which is uh, you know i find extremely interesting and endearing uh, at resha mandi is that the humans of resha mandi as we call ourselves uh, they are very very warm uh, relationship matters yes uh, i was coming to that <laughs> very very warm and uh, everybody is so approachable there's an excellent camaraderie actually that exists across functions across hierarchies and uh, especially you know mayank and saurabh our founders 
and uh, all the members of the leadership team i think they are so accessible approachable it's like an open door policy we can walk in we can you know seek help take suggestions support is always there so in my one year to be honest i have never faced any issue when it has come to getting inputs for a pr story or you know getting any of my doubts clarified so i have had to just walk in even if they are busy they come back later so if it's a whether it's a junior senior or my peer group they have always been very supportive very helpful and uh, it overall we work as a team and it's very positive energy here so and i look forward to working with resha mandi and i think like you said resha mandi stands true to its tagline that relationships matter yes. internally with employees as well as externally with our stakeholders thanks soheni thank you so Lot much lot of information given thank, thank you, you so much it thanks. was a pleasure talking to you and we hope to uh, you know complete many more uh, you know uh, i would say adventurous years at yeah, resha sure, mandi sure. and yes. achieve many more milestones yeah thanks Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank, Thank you. you. This brings us to the end of episode 4 of Mandi ki baatein. Thanks for watching and keep joining us for more such episodes. Thank you. Mandi ki baatein.